Good evening, welcome to Mark and Chris's Blue Room Sessions. Again. Yeah, seriously, we're still on. I don't know how that was even possible. But, you know, we haven't run out of people yet. No. Nope. There will be the day, though, when we run out of people. Though. Surely it's going to happen, right? What are we going to do then? Festival! All right, then we'll do a festival. But just, you know, keep that between us for now. Don't... Cool. Okay. Well, on this week's show, we have Yvette and Paul. Woo! I know. Thanks for the slightly delayed woo, but, you know, no, no, it's, it's fine. You just play with your phone. It's all good. It's all good. That's what I do most of the time, anyway. Currently, it's, it's non-stop Chuck Norris. I'm obsessed with that game. It's brilliant. If you've not played it, go and check it out. So, we had a vet and Paul in. Not just acoustic, but acoustic with a double bass as well. Cool. But not like your regular double bass. Like a, 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 a streamlined, almost slinky double bass. I know. You'll see it on the video later, anyway. It's great. Um, anyway, it was a really nice session. Really nice chat with them as well. Maybe not entirely serious, but hey, it's fine. It's fine. If you would like to get some of your music on the show, because we do let you, you know, it's kind of one of the things that this, this show works on. If you've got music that you've recorded either at home or in a studio or, or whatever, wherever, um, you can send it to us on MP3 or WAV format, if you like, and uh, we'll play it. It's just kind of, you know, it's the appreciation of you sending material in. You know, you get into the trouble of doing that then we'll play it, right? And it might take us a couple of weeks to get around to it. I'm not saying, you know, we're not on the ball all the time, right? I mean, we've got a lot of stuff to fit in. A lot of stuff that, you know, could be fitting in by cutting out waffling like this, really. So do, do you want to just do the... Yes. Yeah, just play... Okay, this is, this is Paul and Yvette from, you know, the show. Well, good evening, and uh, welcome to our guests. All three of them, Yvette, Paul, and Shania Twain. There she be. There she be doesn't make any sense to anyone who's listening to this right now but who's watching the YouTube <laughs> video later on it'll make perfect sense welcome mm. to Wickham Sound hi hi, hi. <laughs> it's been one of those evenings this evening it, it's all fine it's all fine Don't, I, it's all going to go great because obviously we haven't had the set yet that's true for continuity purposes we haven't had the set yet no set what set yeah we're going to do that later set, set what which we're set <laughs> which we're very looking forward to hearing <laughs> very looking forward to uh, uh, set of crockery <laughs> Dining set. <laughs> well, maybe that should be a new direction that we could take the show in. Sets on. Yeah. Okay, let's go with it. Where are we going? What set? Um, kind of jelly set. How do you oh. like your jelly setting? How do I like my jelly setting? Yeah. <laughs> um, do well, you like it? Are there like more, for, is there more than one setting? Well, I guess for it jelly? depends on the consistency it's you jelly make it up with. Because yeah. if you've got like the, the jelly cubes that you have to dissolve first, yeah. less water more wow. rigid jelly this is very true or she's, just she's no good. water <laughs> and just solid jelly cube could do this conversation went jelly <laughs> quicker than <Yeah>. normal <laughs> quicker than <laughs> it normally does <laughs> I've got, I've got it's, un- <laughs> it's unusual <laughs> I'm going to have to excuse my laugh I sound like blooming Muttley from the, the <laughs> wacky races because I've got cold and every time I laugh it sounds a bit wheezy it's all good it's all good look Muttley was a good character he was yeah. but I don't know if a girl should be associated with Muttley why not it's a <laughs> equality. Really? It's a equality. <laughs> I mean, equality? Every, okay, anyone can enough. claim the laugh of Muttley. It's, it's all good. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We'll it's go happy that. days. Yep. Yeah. All right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now we've covered Jelly and Muttley. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> those, those were the two I think, topics. I think Classic the themes, double act of the year. I think the things are going with Lees now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of Lees can we go for? Hmm. <laughs> Well, they, they were the two topics I really wanted to, to get okay, out of the way, I'll good. be honest so with you. So we've covered it, we're done. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, thanks nice for coming in. Um, fun. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you again. <laughs> informative. Yeah. As well as... I, um, I hope we've um, all learned something today. Brief. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Shall we actually do, because Mark brings us yes. up on this a few times. Well, it's once in the blue moon. we actually have to cover... Yeah, movies. yeah. Mark, Mark is under the impression that sometimes we have to talk about the music, right? So... Just to, well, you know, you can if you like. Okay. I don't mind. We can, we can. I don't mind. Yeah. What music or you can just let the about? music do the talking for you. Ah, <laughs> genius. Anyway, yes, but in in uh, in response to Mark's wishes, who sat down there, by who the sat way. down there playing Behind Snake on his phone, 
Yeah, we see him playing. Yeah. He's not really paying attention. That's what he does. See, what, what happens is Mark comes in, <laughs> sets everything up, listens to them, and then sits down and plays his, his games on there for a while. But hey. This is so, for what, though? Because mm. for continuity reasons, we can't say what he's oh, listening to earlier. This is very true. He, uh, he will be listening to the, the set that you'll perform later. Later on. Yeah. Mm. So what? <laughs> 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 it's like some kind of <laughs> loop. So usually, right, uh, we, we would have a full band or we would have an acoustic guitarist. Mm -hmm. There's not usually acoustic guitar and a bass, and not just any bass, a double bass. Yeah. Mm. Two basses. Two basses. <laughs> In one. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that what defines it as a double bass? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it's too it's crammed into the case. And not only that, it's not just a double bass, it's an electric double bass. It's an bass. electric double bass. It's an electric double bass, yeah. right? But in theory, looks like it should levitate. It should. Mm. Mm. It's got that illusion. Maybe we like, should. You know, the, you know the street performers that you see in London outside tube yes. stations and what have you? And I it, saw it looks like, there. yeah, it looks like they're floating. <laughs> that's, that's the equivalent of that double <laughs> bass. I think so. Mm. We should it. take that to Covent Garden and get it earning some money for us. Yeah. <laughs> just just Watch this double bass float. Yeah, people yeah. can throw coins in, in the little sort of base case. Yeah, in the base case. <laughs> in the base case next to it and we'll just watch it. That'd be yeah, good. That's, that's, yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's an unusual setup. I don't know how it quite came, well, it kind of came about because you had a double bass and wanted to play it really, wasn't it? Yeah. And I did the acoustic stuff. Originally we did... You had the acoustic, not acoustic, the electric bass. The regular bass. The regular bass. Yeah. And I had a <laughs> regular <laughs> electric guitar, and we had a band, didn't we? That consisted there were of others. a guitarist mm. and, and a drummer. But then they had to go their ways, and we were left with the two of us, and like, what are we going to do? And, and you, sold, like, you sold the other two to buy the double <coughs> bass? We did. And the acoustic? Okay. We didn't know. They decided oh. to go off and branch off and do different things, and it's cool. People do that. It's all good. So we were just like, what are we going to do? So that's what we did, and he had his double bass, and we said, let's try doing this. Had my acoustic, and we thought we'd make it an acoustic duo, and it worked. Okay. We think. <laughs> well, <laughs> We've I guess had we'll a few bookings. I guess we'll find out later. <laughs> I guess we'll, <laughs> guess we'll find <laughs> out. We'll see you later, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's how it kind of came about, really. Me and Paul, and bass, and guitar, and <laughs> tunes. <laughs> 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 Getting out and about, making some noise, annoying some people, maybe. Some people like it, some people don't. It's all do? good, right? It's all good. It's all good, yeah. yeah. So how has this transition gone then? If you've gone from like full band to well, just you two, I mean... Oh, it's a long because, story. Because this is, this is all original material, right? That's performed yep. on these. It's all original material. It's all original, yeah. Yes. So who was taking songwriting <coughs> responsibility? I would have to say it's probably me, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, we used to be in another band before all of this happened, that Nat, um, the drummer there, moved to Thailand. So we were gonna, and you, for work reasons, couldn't do it anymore, so it kind of fell apart. And then your job ended up going, didn't it? And then so we were able to get back together and do some more. But you look so sad. Yeah. <laughs> it's a devastating time for me. <laughs> <laughs> but then you got to play in a band with me. So we decided to get this whole band together <laughs> between us. And then, as I said, we did a few gigs together and everything. And then obviously the drummer and the guitarist decided to go do their other things, and so we thought we'd do this duo thing, and I've kind of lost my train of thought. Where was I going? <laughs> 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 what was I talking about? I don't know. I don't know the what the songwriting going. responsibilities. The songwriting responsibilities. Yes. So, but yeah, we kind of, I've always done the songwriting bits and pieces, and it was kind of cool when we had the band, because we had the input from the guitarist as well, and that made sort of much more sort of a musical different direction, because that's something that I'm gonna be honest about, I struggle with, is making it a bit more dynamic. Lyrics are not so much of a problem, but the song structure itself maybe. So that was kind of cool, but then I just sort of could see and end up being the two of us. And yeah, I just write a few tunes and we go out and play them. Happy days. In a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> write a couple of tunes, off we go. <laughs> and you're completely okay with this one? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. the songs sort of um, have evolved, haven't they, really? Um, they do. Sort of naturally, as the more we've played them, they've they kept the same basic structure, but they sound very different to yeah. what the band used to do. It is true, because I mean, these are from when we did the band stuff. Okay. And nine times out of ten, I'll play something, I'll take it to Paul, and we'll have a bit of a fiddle around with it and change it a little bit, and tempos might change, and we might extend a little bit or cut a bit out, or it's all a bit 
play around with it, see how it goes. Well, I suppose bit. there's a bit more freedom to do that if there's less of you in there. It is. It's you know, a lot easier in some that's ways. That's a very good yeah. point. Yeah, the, women, the less the less there are, yeah. the yeah. easier it is to uh, to change things around to, to suit, change to suit you. You know, as to you know, not happy how this bit sounds, then we can just oh right, we'll sort something out. Yeah. Well, this isn't quite working in, then, in yeah, a duo structure. And then it's only two of you that's got to fiddle it around and make it work for us rather than waiting for a guitar solo to come in. That's not going to happen. <laughs> <'cause Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Can't play the rhythm and the solo at the same time. Maybe I should try practicing that. No. Mm. <laughs> if I was to ask you a serious question, ask just for, for for uh, for once in this we evening, we can do serious questions. If thank you very much. If if anyone was trying to find you on social media, or trying to find you on music sites or YouTube's mm. and things like that, mm. where would they find you? They wouldn't. No, <laughs> we have a we're Facebook. We're not really here. We're not really here. No, we have a Facebook page. <laughs> See, <laughs> kind of, it's a bit weird actually to be doing this interview right now because we've actually this year I've decided to take off to use for writing time because we've been spending the last fifteen years backwards and forwards gigging constantly and going all over the place and I've not really spent any time writing for a very long time. So I thought, hey, what was one thing and another? I thought this year's going to be the year that I don't do it. I'm going to sit down and write and play a few more things. So I kind of. Shut down the website because I was having to pay for that. So I thought, let's just cut back a little bit on the spending and stuff. So I took my website down. But I've got a Facebook. So if people want to see what's going on, we've got a Facebook page. And it's just called Event Music. And there is a YouTube page as well, which is called Event Music One. Because somebody had taken Event Music already. How dare they? How, How dare they? I mean, come on. Yeah, the, I like that. Mm. But the anger there. Well, they good. might be watching. They should know what kind of, you know. I know. And now I've had to put the one at the end of it to make life so much more difficult. Yeah. But you can see stuff that when we played live there and we played different venues, we played the Cavern Club up in Liverpool, that's on there. So there's a good few bits and pieces there. Duo, full band. I think there's even a solo bit on there as well. So, whew, yep. Done a little mm. bit of everything. Got samples, got swatches. Swatches, yes. Yeah. Swatches, got some We've got a whole folder where somebody just rolls them in. <laughs> <laughs> like I like this fabric. I like like this fabric more. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for coming in. No problem, no. Before this camera dies, I'm going to say thank you very much, and uh, we look forward to hearing your set very, thank very you. shortly. It's going to be interesting. That you haven't done already. Look forward to playing it. Mm. <laughs> well, we look forward to hearing it. So, <laughs> Paul, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Just what you like Believe me Don't feel me I'm gonna make you feel alright Don't and leave I don't care, yeah I'm over you You can say what you like I don't care, yeah
So keep your head above the water Cause soon this tide will ebb and flow So forgive me if I'm a little crazy It's hard to believe what you can't see So keep your eyes on the sky above You never know what you might see pass by growing weaker my mind can't take this fight now i know i know i'm not crazy yeah. running around no one about to bring me down To the great unknown It's always a journey We go on alone I've been running up here For most of my life My body is growing weaker can't take this fight Now I know, I know I'm not crazy yeah. Living this dream Where it all seems so unreal I'm Trying to find, to find my way
someone saying this is not right. Standing up and taking on the fight. You know, I know, there's nothing left because we just let it go. You know, I know, there's nothing left because we just let it go. You know, I know, there's nothing left because we just let it go. You know, I know, there's nothing left because we just let it go.
But there you go, that was Paul and Yvette. Or Yvette and Paul, depending on like, if you know one of them better than the other. Should it be Yvette and Paul? Because that's alphabetically correct. Mm, well, yeah, but what about Tom and Jerry? I mean, Tom and Jerry, T, T comes after J, right? That's true. But, so it, it doesn't work for every instance. Sorry to shoot your, your theory down. That's okay. <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, it's a really good session. I enjoyed that a lot. I really did. It was a lot of fun doing that one. Well, they're all a lot of fun, I'll be honest with you. Um, if you would like to see a little bit country, then click up on that side, because Luke would do that thingy. Luke, do you want to do the random video? Yes. Okay, and if you want to see a random video, not from anywhere on YouTube, but just stuff that, that's been on Wickham Sound before, that, that is the boundary, right? Yeah. Okay, definitely the boundary. Click up on that side, and he'll, you know, he'll do the random thing up there. So you just don't know what you're going to get. Because I don't think we're allowed to actually quote Forrest Gump directly due to copyright reasons. Thanks for watching this. Uh, we really do appreciate it. And you can go and watch whatever you like now, uh, as long as it's ours. And thank you very much to West Star Rehearsal for supporting the show. Thank you very much to Yvette and Paul, or Paul and Yvette, whatever your preference. Uh, for coming in and we'll see you again very soon um bye <laughs>